Okay. Today is May 2nd. It's about 10 in the morning. I've been up for about an hour. Uh, did my little, um, trying to create a morning routine that I can stick to. So I did a couple things today. I'm about to have my coffee. Um, not my favorite coffee. I get my coffee from uh, Trader Joe's. Um, I I like a light, lighter roast. I've I've uh, moved away from from dark roasts in general. This is a Colombian. Uh, this is a dark roast, and it just doesn't it doesn't get me like I like I want to or like the the breakfast blend does. I had another one uh, a couple years ago that was like a true light roast. It came in like a little twelve ounce can. It was so good. Um, hopefully they'll you know buy out a well. Uh, hopefully they'll come back. But uh, anyway, I'm um, going to drink some coffee. Out of my um, Mr. Right mug. I have like two mugs. I've had this one almost, probably coming up on six years since I moved into the house. But um, I might get some more mugs. Some ones that are just clear. Kind of like, um, with with nothing on them. The other my other mug is a Christmas mug that my mom gave me. Um, yeah, I need something else in the rotation. Anyway, um, yesterday uh, was a frustrating and sort of like emotional day. Looking back, uh, I was just not. I think I once I realized that I wanted to like clean and get stuff in order. I was kind of overwhelmed maybe by like the amount of clothing that I had and I was trying to like refold stuff. And, um, I just, I, I took a couple of, I made a couple of like, uh, bags of clothing that I don't want that I'm like, was like trying to sell, um, uh, before I gave to like Goodwill or something. But I think I just need to go ahead and donate those. Uh, not to Goodwill though. Goodwill is not, um, not a good charity, but, uh, I need to find a way to to get these out of my house just because it's taking up space and thereby taking up bandwidth and I need to like uh, at the same time uh, I need to find better outlets I also need to reduce like you know unnecessarily uh, taxing things on my brain uh, having a clean space is something that I know I enjoy but I sometimes just like I'm like what's the point of cleaning when it's just me or like, you know, what's the point of cleaning when like, you know, um, I don't know. I, I will talk myself out of it a lot, but today I'm going to, uh, continue cleaning a little bit and make sure that I'm got the house squared away. I need to do the dishes and stuff, uh, before I drive to Houston, I'm going to go tomorrow. I, I need to go tomorrow. So I got to get everything ready. But, um, yeah, I was spiraling yesterday about ADHD, ASD, Spectrum, uh, all that stuff. And, you know, my conclusion yesterday was like, you know, what, uh, like what, what's next, you know, because there is not going to be just because you find out like, you know, maybe it, once I, even if I were basically, if I were to continue like pursuing a diagnosis or like trying to really solidify and nail down what um, is wrong with me, and I think that's another thing I need to get out of the mind frame of like there being something particularly wrong with me that I need to uh, fix before I can be a human, before I can be existing in the world, uh, before I can be loved and you know all that stuff. Um, so I'm trying to like reframe, um, and just focus on like my outlets, my coping, um, and, and, you know, making sure that I'm, um, checking in with myself and not going too far down a path just because I feel like it's what I need to do. Um, you know, based on, um, what other people do and I'm, you know, I'm, uh, we, I'm not like everyone else. Um, 
coming to terms with the fact that there are things that are neurodivergent about myself. There are things that are neurotypical about myself um, that get in the way of what I, uh, I've i wanted, but I'm not fully conscious of what um, you know the things are necessarily. Um, that, I don't think that made any sense, but um, basically I'm trying to, um, some of the things in the past week that have kind of been flaring up, I've been biting, uh, I didn't realize like biting your nails could be considered a stem, but like this is a, uh, I don't even know. Oh, I got a blister when I was doing like some like yard work outside and um, I tried it, I just like let it heal and then like it started to scab over pretty well and then I was like, well, let me pick at this. Um, I bite my, I used to bite my nails like crazy, like crazy bite my nails. And then it started to graduate to like biting the skin around my nails, like in, uh, cuticles or whatever you want to call them. And I've been like a couple of years ago and maybe think, recall back to when I stopped biting my nails and when I wasn't, um, you know, when I was like trying to, um, basically, re you know, reduce stimming, um, yeah, that, but uh, I um, I stopped biting my nails probably like f um, probably around the time when I moved here. Um, just a lot of uh, you know, there was a lot of things that I was probably doing that I was trying to just uh, you know be normal, be normative as possible. Um, but I've been biting my nails again. I've been biting my skin again, um, pretty bad. Um, luckily the, at least the nails will all let them grow a little bit, but like, um, I used to just like, as soon as there was any little like overhang, I would just gnaw that shit off. Um, but you know, I've got uh, this wound. You can see that like my nails are not, uh, they're not that bad, but like, I'm definitely like, I've been biting around like the sides of my fingers again, uh, picking at calluses, uh, love to do that. But, um, yeah, I, I realize that I, I do have stimming outlets that are not, you know, I guess like hand, I don't even, I don't even know how, like what, I'm, I'm not like a hand, I'm not a hand flapper, but I do have echolalia. I will repeat, um, random phrases, uh, when I hear them, I will have stuff stuck in my head and sing it over and over again. Um, that kind of stuff. So maybe, um, you know, just making sure that I'm channeling, um, the extra energy or the extra feeling that I have that maybe it's like, you know, if I were to, um, hold them in, I may tip over into, um, you know, like extreme or just a triple tip over into like anxiety or overwhelm and bordering on like shutting down, um, I need to be conscious of that and make sure that I'm, I'm giving my outlets or be, I'm, you know, able to channel this energy out of my body. Um, working out and like going to the nature preserve and walking around have been, uh, I think good. I need to... <sighs> going to the nature preserve and walking around and going to the gym sometimes when I'm not like, uh, you know, super, sensitive uh are good things and even going to the gym and just like maybe just sitting on the bike and trying to like zone out would be good too but um you know i do i move my fucking legs i tap my feet around all over the place um yeah i'm just trying to um give myself more grace and you know find ways to cope and move forward rather than be hung up on like, what's the root cause? What's the issue? You know, what's the problem? Let's, let's just focus on the symptoms and like, and like make a solution, uh, find a plan, find a solution that works. Yeah. Uh, I'm I don't want to talk too long today. I'm going to finish this coffee. It's the first cup of coffee. Uh, I probably do need to take, well, maybe I'll come back and take my, my pill. Um, but I want to go to the nature preserve. It's a nice chill, uh, sunny day outside. So I'm going to go to the nature and walk around and see what they're doing over there. Uh, and then I'll come back and clean, but I just wanted to check in. Um, 
I recorded some other vlogs yesterday that were very emotional and scary, but I will save those maybe for a compilation later. But I just wanted to uh, keep this unedited super conscious vlog going. If you're watching this, thank you. Uh, I don't know why uh, or how you found it, but um, stay tuned. Leave me a comment. Um, subscribe. Like. I'm going to keep doing this and uh, hopefully it'll be something great to look back on. Uh, and I'll be like, damn, I made so much progress or, you know, all this stuff. I've already, like, I keep saying it. Well, I, um, you know, I used to be in a totally different mind state, like so much less aware of like what's going on. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. I don't even, I don't even know what I was thinking. Like, so even though this is definitely not like a comfortable place, I'm not like, you know, thriving. I, I'm just still surviving, but I'm, uh, I feel like I can move into a place of, of thriving soon. I don't know what that was.